Russell Mokyber from, Russell Mokyber from Single Payer Action. Two questions. First, Dr. Marsha Angel, the former editor in chief of the New England Journal of Medicine, says that single payer is the single payer national health insurance is the only reform that covers everyone and controls costs. And she's now of the belief that the legislation going through Congress is worse than nothing and should be defeated. We should start from scratch. So that the second question is. Uh, the AP reported earlier this week that uh, lobbyists, healthcare lobbyists, have been to the White House repeatedly over the last year, and you met with the lobbyists from the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association in March, uh, and single-payer uh, advocates have been pretty much barred from the White House. They've not met with decision makers like yourself. So two questions, Marsha Angel's uh, single-payer question, and second, what was discussed with the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association when you met with them? Let me uh, deal with those in reverse order. So first, with regard to uh, uh, not only with regard to myself, but administration uh, officials writ large, uh, I meet with a whole variety of uh, folks who know about the healthcare system, whether it's uh, union leaders or uh, uh, providers, insurers, what have you. I'm not aware of uh, uh, meeting requests with, um, from, from your group or from others, but uh, the key point is that we're hearing from a whole variety of people and uh, institutions that have interest in healthcare reform, and that's exactly how it should be, which is getting a uh, broad view, uh, sort of 360 degree perspective on, on healthcare reform. Now with regard to, uh, uh, I think the bottom, the bottom line uh, part of your question is, is this bill better than nothing? I mean, that's a, a judgment upon which I guess I come down very firmly on the other side for the reasons that I've already discussed, uh, not only are you reducing the ranks of the uninsured by more than 30 million, don't, I mean, let, let's not forget, there are 30 million, more than 30 million Americans who will have health insurance in 2015 or 2016 because of this legislation that would not have health insurance otherwise. And there are millions more who will have higher quality and better uh, and insurance with better protection than un under current law. And don't forget that going without insurance is a key driver of personal bankruptcy and, and you're bearing a lot of risk, financial and other risks, when you don't have insurance. So well, the, well, the bottom line question problem. actually is why was single payer taken off the table? Okay, but before I, again, you, that you are not only expanding coverage, but you're also doing so in a way that reduces the deficit <laughs> and puts in place, as I already mentioned, a whole series of tools that will help lead to quality and reduce costs over time. Now, there are some who would prefer not having a mixed public-private system as we have in the United States. I think the President was very clear that we have an American system and that we are going to have a mix of public and private uh, provision and insurance, just from a, even just from a practical perspective. And I think that is what we're, what, where we are. We are on the verge of a substantial accomplishment. I would also point out um, there has been a lot of attention paid to a public option, and that is understandable. I would just uh, note, I think there was a very good uh, op-ed written by Paul Starr, professor at Princeton, who had been involved in the effort in the early 1990s and who co-founded the American Prospect, pointing out that, uh, if anything, the attention paid to a public option has been disproportionate to the impact of, for example, how the regulations uh, surrounding the exchange would help to promote competition and reduce costs. So the public discussion has become somewhat lopsided, in his opinion, and I happen to agree with him, relative to many other things, in addition to the ones I mentioned, that will help to expand coverage, increase competition, and reduce costs. 